I'm Sashandra. I'm an educator at um, Evergreen Beauty College. I'm going to be showing you a couple tricks with products and placement of your brush in order to get maximum volume and the least amount of volume. So first thing I'm going to use is some volumizing solution. And what you're going to do is put a dime size amount in your hand. You're going to rub it through your hand. Ooh, dime size. You're going to rub it through your hands until it's warm. And then you're going to place it in their hair. You're going to start in the back because if you ever put too much product in the front, it's going to be greasy in the front. So you're going to start through the back. Work through the front. You're gonna make the hair look crazy. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of root lift in our hair. Most places where people want root lift is right in the crown. So you're going to be focusing below and above. You're gonna put it right on the scalp. Now my hands are all greasy. And you're gonna rub it in, just in the roots only. Take about an inch and a half size section and apply a little bit more. If you pull it through to the ends, it can be too stiff and make the hair too stiff to comb through or brush through. And then one section right above the crown. Okay, and for brush placement, I'll show you while I'm blow drying, but because it's going to be too loud, I don't want to talk while I'm blow drying, so I'll tell you and then I'll show you. When you are trying to get maximum volume, if you want a lot of really big height, you need to over direct your brush forward. And what that's going to do is going to make your curl sit right on the base of that section. That's going to give you the most amount of lift. Next, you're going to, from a natural volume, you're going to pull the hair straight out at 90 degrees. And that curl would sit half on the base and then half off the base. So it's going to sit right in between. And for the least amount of volume, you pull the hair down 45 degrees, under direct it, and it's going to sit below the base, which is going to give you better styling for the bottom of hair. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate. In a hairstyle, you can have more than one volume. So down here, I'm going to do under-directed, which isn't going to give me as much volume. Right here, I'm going to do 90 degrees, which is going to give me natural lift. Up here, I'm going to do optimum volume to give her more oomph, right in the crown area where everyone's hair is a little bit more flat. I'm going to do the maximum volume. The more you over direct, the more lift you're going to get. So if you dramatically over direct this way and blow dry like this, you're going to get more oomph. If you don't want as much, you can over direct just a little bit and then round out.
one thing you want to do when you're blow drying as well is you want to let the curl cool out. If I was to brush this out, it's going to get rid of most of the volume I just put in. So I'm going to leave that in my little sausage until it uncurls a little bit. Until the heat's gone. it up I would just use a little bit of hairspray and hairspray you want to hold about this far away from the head apply it in smooth it in run your fingers through it before it dries all the way because that helps it saturate in there a little bit better Mr. Beautiful Blow Dress. <laughs>